Are you ready to create AI assistants for yourself and for your business? In this video, I'm going to walk you through how I've created AI assistants for myself and also how my own assistant has used them moving forward. That makes both of our lives just a little bit easier. Now, a lot of these AI assistants, we're just going to be creating on ChatGPT just because that is kind of a really good place to get started if you have not started on generative AI just yet. And if you're also ready to just take it to the next level and you want to work with me on creating your own AI assistant, we do have have a scorecard you guys can fill up below which will lead you to a call with me now to get you started once you have chat gpt open like this you want to start with the woe method now this is something that i've been teaching the last year to everyone who would want to listen is when you're using chat gpt for the first time or when you have a fresh thread basically just like this one is you want to put in the who the outcome the are you ready and then the how so what this means is first thing is you want to identify who you want ChatGPT to be as, what you want it to specialize in, what role you want it to take over. So for this case, you are an admin assistant for my business. Now, best practice when it comes to using ChatGPT or literally anything generative AI is you want to give it as much context as you can on what it is that you need and who you are. So it can be generic. You don't want, of course, ChatGPT to store your information. But to be honest, you can just go ahead and make it easy for ChatGPT to get to know you. You can put in your pitch. You can put in a little bit about your business. For this one, we'll use my AI consulting business as the who part of this. So you are an admin assistant for my business. We create AI assistants for coaches and consultants for them to use in their business for operations and content marketing. So that is the who part. Now you can give it more context. If you have ChatGPT4 even, you can give it a link to your website so you can get basically your copy. The next thing that you wanna put in is the outcome that you need. Now later on in this video, I'll walk you through the different outcomes or tasks that you can have ChatGPT go ahead and do. But essentially you wanna create different AI assistants for the different outcomes that you need in the business. That way there's an easy way for you to go back and forth. And as you're going through the different tasks, it's gonna be easy for you to find which AI assistant you were working with in the first place. Now for this one, we're going to create an AI assistant that will help create your standing up procedures in your business because that's one of the first examples that I'll go through later, later on. So you will be creating SOPs for my business where I'll provide rough instructions and you'll follow a template I give you. So then that is the who, the outcome, and then asking it, are you ready? Now, I like doing are you ready. It's not really necessary for a lot of people, but for me, I like it because I can correct ChatGPT if it's giving me the wrong information because if it says, yes, I'm ready, just let's just go ahead. I can ask it of, hey, you said you were ready. These are actually additional information that you need. So are you ready? And then the how is basically, how do you want ChatGPT to respond to you? I will say, make it straight to the point, avoid the fillers basically. And say you want it to sound funny, you want it to sound smart, witty, you can add it here. But basically the how is how do you want it to respond to you? Do you want to be in bullet points? Do you want to be in table form? So on and so forth and chat GPT will of course follow what it is that you say. So let's just start with this. So this is essentially the beginnings of how you can create your AI assistant. So you can just press enter there. So here, because we asked, are you ready? You know, absolutely ready. Give me instructions. I'll get those SOP set up for your business. So as you're going through your day to day as a business owner or as a coach or a consultant yourself is you want to start thinking of like, what would be different tasks that I could easily give to chat GPT that you can now start creating AI assistance out of. Now, this is just how to create them. Let's go through a few examples of different AI assistance that we've created ourselves within our business. First one is this, is basically an SOP creator assistant. So in a business, when you're starting to grow, when you're starting to scale, you need starting break procedures to be able to capture the things and how they get done. So as you start training, as you start hiring more people, it's gonna be easier for you to grow your business. Now, SOPs is one of my favorite things to nerd out on. I literally built my business to XU around creating SOPs and assets for our clients with an executive assistant. So we wanna go ahead and start to hopefully feed ChatGPT with a few SOPs that we want to create. So first thing is, let's say for example, you don't have your onboarding process written out. So here I just ask it to create an SOP for onboarding new clients. So right there, it's giving me just a rough draft. Okay, hey, this is what it could look like. 
um, you know, gather client information, create proposal, strategy workshop. So I just gave it a really rough template that I like to use within my business. So here, SOP for onboarding new clients. So we have the introduction, we have what you need, the steps, um, and then best practices. So this is now just an SOP created out of ChatGPT, kind of giving like me giving basically a very rough description of what I need. I now have an SOP. I can go ahead and give this to my assistant who can then make this prettier and make this match to what we're actually doing in the business. So this is kind of just a cool little quick thing that you can create right off with ChatGPT. Now the next AI assistant you can create with ChatGPT is basically an assistant to create post-meeting reports. Now, a thing that happens always, especially if we have our assistant working on a different time zone, is we'll have meetings that we want them to follow up, make notes on, and just basically generally just have things be done afterwards. So a quick way that you can do that with ChatGPT is if you already have the transcription somewhere. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a transcription of a meeting that I just did. I recorded it on Zoom Cloud, so my assistant was able to get the transcription of that. I'm gonna show you how to do that with ChatGPT where it maps out basically what was talked about and the things that need to happen afterwards. So here, what we're gonna do is going back to ChatGPT is we're gonna copy, oops, you're gonna copy the woe method so you can just do this really easily and quickly um and then here yeah i'm gonna we're gonna change this to you will be creating summaries for meetings outlining touch points to do's deadlines and what to follow up on so right there you now have just created your ai assistant when it comes to doing meetings so right there got it i'm ready let me know what you need assistance with first so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a transcription for a meeting that I did. So I couldn't find the transcription of my usual videos because my assistant takes care of that. She kicks ass on that, so I couldn't find it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna grab a podcast interview that I did last week. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the transcription from here. Right here, if you don't know, on YouTube, you can click show transcript. It'll grab the transcript here. Um, you can go ahead, I'll, what I'll do, just because I want to have you guys see how this can be done and have your EA do that as well. Basically copying this whole thing. And I'm gonna throw it into ChatGPT. So I literally just copy and pasted the whole transcription from the video to there. Now there are a lot of plugins that you can use to basically have YouTube be able to put it into ChatGPT. But again, I'm doing this as a rough. You have starting from like trying to figure out what you can use ChatGPT for. But yeah, there you go. So it's going ahead and creating key topics discussed action items, deadlines also, and then follow-up checkpoints as well. So for yourself and for your assistant, they can go ahead and create just these four meetings that you've had. They can start grabbing the to-dos and putting into your to-do list or their to-do list if it's something that they have to do. So it makes that whole process just a little bit smoother and easier. Another AI assistant that you can create is someone to be just your email responder. Now with ChatGPT, you can load up examples of how you usually would write emails anyway. And you can just go ahead and have ChatGPT write responses. What I've done in the past is I would grab an email from a client and have the trained up already AI assistant I have on it and I will go ahead and actually, hey, write the response to this email. This is how I would want to respond and ChatGPT will basically spout out a draft of the email based on how I write and I won't show you guys that live here because I've done it in so many other videos but that's basically another way that you can use ChatGPT. It's just your straight up email responder using your own writing voice already. Now the next AI assistant that you can use is you can basically create one that gives context for calendar invites so as a really good example for me I go through client meetings every single day I go through you know facing possible client meetings as well and one thing that is always needed is the context of that meeting and why that's important why these certain people are invited into it so a good way to just use an AI assistant or create an AI assistant out of is just creating meeting descriptions for both the calendar and as well as the email that you're about to send out that way you guys have clarity on what this meeting is going to be and finally a favorite AI assistant of mine that I have created into XU that I have used over and over again is an assistant that basically helps me map out projects that I want to do. So as a good example, let me go back into ChatGPT. I'm actually going to go ahead and copy the same woe that we had up here. And again, we're basically just editing the output part. You will be creating summaries of, so instead of summaries, we're going to be, you will be drafting up projects that we are doing in the business using the scrum method but customized for a startup 
team and just asking it, are you ready? So here, I basically now have created a project manager assistant, except it just helps me draft up projects that I have in my head of things that I want to do. So here, and this, what's the first project you need to draft? So I'm going to go ahead and just ask ChatGPT, create a project where we create custom GPTs for our clients. So this way, it's just a one of the projects that I do have in mind in creating in the new business that in the AI agency that I have started. So it's going ahead and you know project custom GPT development for clients, sprint duration two weeks, team roles, sprint activities, deliverables, timelines. So it's already breaking down for me as if I had someone who was really trained up as a Scrum master project manager on here. It's just ChatGPT has already written it out for me so that I can easily just grab this, customize it, give it to my team, and things will get done. So that's kind of the cool thing with just creating AI assistance for yourself and for your business. And of course, the ways that I've used it. Now, I've had so many other ways that I've used ChatGPT. So feel free to check out the rest of the other videos that I have here. Or again, if you are ready to take that next level and we'll go through your business and create your own custom AI assistant for your business, go ahead and fill out our scorecard below and we'll get into to that call and if you guys like this video of course make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below what kind of AI assistant would you like to create I would love to know and if you still haven't yet make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here hope you guys have an amazing day and remember that small steps matters and I'll see you in the next video bye